Winter in Montana is no joke, with temperatures plummeting well below freezing and snow blanketing much of the state. It's essential to know how to prepare and stay safe. Whether you're a newcomer or a seasoned Montana, learning how to navigate the long, cold months is key to not just surviving, but thriving in Big Sky Country's winter. In this video, I'll cover everything you need to know to handle winter like a pro, from cold weather tips to safety advice and everything in between. Before we dive in, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you are interested in watching more videos about Montana recreation, lifestyle, and real estate. And be sure to leave a comment below with your biggest concern about winter and why. Or if you're already a winter weather pro, please leave a tip for all of us. All right, let's start with your winter weather wardrobe. Montana winters can be brutally cold with temperatures frequently dipping below zero, especially in January and February. The key to staying warm is dressing in layers. Start with a moisture wicking base layer to keep sweat away from your skin. Follow that with an insulating layer like wool or fleece and then finish with a windproof, waterproof outer layer to protect against snow and wind. Generally, this is how we do it when we go skiing on the mountain. For everyday life here in town, it's really not necessary to go to those lengths. So moving on, don't forget the essentials. Insulated boots, gloves, and a warm hat. You lose a lot of body heat through your extremities, so keeping your hands and feet and head warm is crucial. And remember, in Montana, a quality pair of waterproof boots with good traction is not optional. It's a necessity. If you do want to be a bit more stylish on a given day, the shoe cleat clamps are a great option to prevent slipping and falling. And Costco sells those here every year. All right, next up, snow removal. If you own property in Montana, snow removal becomes a regular part of your winter routine. Shoveling your driveway, walkways, and even your roof after heavy snowfalls is essential for safety and accessibility. Consider investing in a good snow shovel or better yet, a snow blower or even a plow for your vehicle if you have a larger area to clear. When using a snow blower or shovel, be mindful to stay safe. Take breaks and don't overexert yourself, especially if you're not used to physical labor in cold weather. The cold can strain your heart and heavy snow is tougher to move than it looks. If you could be a fly on the wall, when I'm trying to shovel that snow, um, you would get a good laugh for sure. Before we move on to winter driving, I should introduce myself. I am Janet Cantrell a local realtor and broker here in Montana. We moved our family to Montana a decade ago, so if you are considering a move, I do know exactly what you're going through and I would love to help you in any way possible. I do get calls from people like you all the time, so don't be shy. If you have a question, leave it in the comment below or snag my contact information from the description box and give me a call or an email. All right, now let's talk about winter driving. This is a big concern for many transplants and rightfully so. Montana roads can be challenging in the winter with snow, ice, and poor visibility, making for dangerous conditions. Start by making sure your vehicle is ready. A winter ready vehicle means having snow tires or all season tires in good condition. You can also put studs on your tires as an alternative option. And it's a smart idea to carry chains if you're driving in mountainous areas. We have personally never used chains um, or needed them for city driving, but we do have a hilarious story, or not so hilarious story, um, of our adventures up to Pole Bridge one winter. Um, chains are definitely recommended for that journey. Also remember to check your battery. Cold weather can zap its power. It's also important to keep an emergency kit in your vehicle. This should include items like a blanket, extra warm clothing, a flashlight, food, water, a first aid kit, and a shovel. It's not uncommon for cars to get stuck in snow or for roads to become impassable during a blizzard. So being prepared can make all the difference. Again, this isn't something to be concerned about when sticking to town, but if you do take a road trip to another city in Montana, it is definitely recommended and you can go miles without cell service or or seeing somebody that could help, so it's really important. Another critical aspect of surviving a Montana winter is staying warm indoors. Many homes rely on wood stoves or fireplaces for extra warmth, but it's important to ensure that they're well maintained. Have your chimney cleaned and inspect your wood stove annually to prevent dangerous situations like chimney fires. Additionally, make sure your home is properly insulated and consider sealing drafts around doors and windows to keep the heat in. Set your thermostat to reasonable levels to maintain warmth without wasting energy. 
Having an emergency heat source like a propane heater or a generator can be a lifesaver if a winter storm knocks out your power as well. Our first winter here in Montana, we did lose power one night. Fortunately, the gas fireplace in our house really put out the heat, so we all huddled up in the living room floor for a sleepover, and we even did call the neighbors to see if they wanted to come over and join or if they were staying warm. Um, that is one great thing about Montana neighbors. In our experience, they generally look out for each other. Now, while winter in Montana can be harsh, it also offers incredible opportunities for outdoor recreation. Skiing, snowboarding, snowshoeing, and even ice fishing are popular pastimes here. However, be sure to dress appropriately and always check the weather forecast before heading out. Hypothermia and frostbite can occur quickly if you're not prepared for the cold. There was one time my sister and her husband and their kids came to visit and we had ski passes and we were going and come hell or high water. Um, and it was negative 30 wind chills up there. So we just had to take a lot of breaks and go in and make sure that gloves stayed on because once those came off, our fingers would get frostbite immediately. It's also a good idea to familiarize yourself with some basic winter safety guidelines. If you're going into the backcountry, always check for avalanche warnings. And if you're hiking or snowmobiling, let someone know where you're going and when you expect to return. And of course, make time to relax and enjoy the cozy side of winter. Embrace the slower pace of life that winter brings. Warm up with hot cocoa by the fire, enjoy some downtime with family, and appreciate the unique beauty of a Montana winter. I love just sitting inside and watching the snow fall out the window and having a good fire in the fireplace. It's magical. Montana's winters may be long and cold, but with the right preparation and mindset, you can enjoy everything the season has to offer, whether it's staying warm indoors or making the most of winter's outdoor adventures. Being ready for the cold ensures you can thrive in the great state of Montana all year long. So bundle up, stay safe, and get ready to experience winter like never before. Next week, we are going to talk about Whitefish Mountain Resort and what it's like to live near a ski destination. So be sure to click that notification bell if you haven't already. If you did find anything in this video helpful, please do give a big thumbs up. It helps YouTube know to share it with more people like you. Have an amazing week and I will see you next time.